To Feast Pack Pack Day 21, unfortunately it was quite a difficult day. I am struggling this morning, it's way day, um, and I've been awake since 2am worrying about it. Um, especially like being weighed after my overnight feed, um, but I've got my porridge, a pot bowl, a teaspoon that says you got this, because I need that <coughs> motivation this morning. Just gonna do it. Just gonna take it bye bye bye. Um, and remind myself why I'm doing this. And of course, I've still got my milky coffee. It has been a tough morning, but I had a shower. I did my hair. Which has been connected to my feed. Uh, I've got my elf top on. <laughs> um, and I've also got my mug, which my friend gave me, which says be free on the inside, which felt very apt this morning. So, yeah. I'm gonna try and make myself feel a bit better. My feed's just finished, but I'm sitting down to my yogurt anyway. My friend's coming and I'm focusing on that instead of feeling horrendous about my feet just been finishing and then also having to eat. Um, it's also way day and didn't sleep it very well last night so there's a lot of things telling me not to do it but I know I need to do it. Christmas teaspoon at the ready. just had a nice visit from my friend Harry, um, just nice to just talk and get out of the room for a little bit, um, I really missed her, um, just sitting down to my, it is one o'clock snack but it's a bit early because I've got a meeting of um, eating disorder services which I'm very anxious about because we're talking about my meal plan um, and changes, so Anxious because it's early and anxious for the meeting. I've just realised I've never actually, I always say like my one o'clock snack, six o'clock snack, nine o'clock snack. Um, they're kind of food bits that I've been managing since I've been admitted. But I've realised I've never actually put them on any of my videos. And it's because for some reason I felt so ashamed that I was like eating especially like at the start I think because last time I was admitted I wasn't taking anything on orally um, like food or drink um, but these foods are well it's just chickpeas and for me like autism wise and one of my favorite foods so I have a pack like whenever I say I've got my spoon and I'm about to have my snack it's always my chickpeas um, not that I have to tell everyone everything but I just realised I've never put it on here um but no they I think I live off these chickpeas I would if I could they're my absolute favourite thing to eat um and mum and dad constantly getting my subscription for them through the door um I currently have three packets a day so if Garbenzo want to sponsor me these are just my absolute thing these are my chickpeas. I would live off them if I could. I had um, a really hard session. I'm finding it very difficult making the changes. Like all the ones we agreed to I'm doing, but I'm finding agreeing to them hard. And I think I know it's so frustrating because I have these waves of positivity and motivation. And then motivation doesn't last forever. So I think as soon as I'm in the meetings where I'm talking about like things changing and stuff, the anorexia gets really strong. And it's very frustrating for me because I know what I need to do. 
and yet it's just terrifying which I know comes across as resistance and I'm trying to not resist it because I want to get better I just find it so scary <laughs> like the idea of feed or food and my weight just all of it um, so like a few options are being discussed now um, which scare me too but like trying to alleviate some of that pressure and guilt and it just I just don't know what to do anymore I just I want this thing gone out of my head and I hate I hate that it's so strong I'm late this snack because I had a complete meltdown about everything but I'm having it now I think that's what killed me everything in my head is telling me that I shouldn't be having this but I know that's more of a reason to have it because I need to go against my head Six o'clock, I have a big cry to mum. Oh, chickpeas, oak teaspoon, you know the drill. It's just been a really, really hard evening. I don't have many words other than I've stopped my meal plan despite my head being very loud and I've just tried to take some time to breathe um, but it's been hard I'm just gonna take my night meds have my snack, let them set up my feed, and hope that tomorrow's a better day. I want to finish on this positive quote because I think it's really apt for today. <laughs>